it's Friday 10th, and unfortunately, I erased half my uh, last run because I formatted my card and forgot I had some footage from my previous week. Anyways, I have a uh, eight miler plan today to summon a Mount Doug. I don't know if you can see this, Tim, but uh, got a lot of green leaves coming on. I think uh, winter is about to release its icy chill and uh, give way to spring. So I'm looking forward to some warm runs. Hey Tim, it's Friday. I'm running through a beautiful rainforest on my lunch break before I have to go teach. And listening to some cure. Friday I'm in love. It doesn't get much better than this. Well Tim, I've been thinking a lot about your blog post on running easy and Today I took your advice, I'm running nice and slow, and it feels pretty good considering I'll be at 30 miles by the end of today, and I still got my long run tomorrow. Um, my body's definitely welcoming the easy pace, so good on you for reminding me to slow down and take it easy a little. Well Tim, it's a bit windy and rainy on the mountain today but it's actually feeling a little warmer than usual. So I can definitely tell spring is coming. But getting wet and a little chilly on this exposed face. Hey Tim, I just summited. So I got my Friday summit in, 600 feet of vert. Now I'm going to uh, cruise on home. So this is a halfway mark at four miles. Got another mile downhill and then I, uh, Got about three miles of road. So, anyways, good run. Looking forward to tomorrow. I haven't decided where I'm gonna run yet. Uh, Gal and Todd is still high on my list. So maybe if I can get up early enough, I'll uh, hit that. Uh, see you later. Well, Tim, with shoes with over, 1500 miles on them. It's uh The worst thing is they have no traction. So running down steep muddy hills is a bad uh, Bad news Anyways, I have to really slow down to run down that baby because these shoes are like slippers Wow, Tim this last three miles of road was just awesome That's some serious um, Momentum just completely effortless Great final run. Hey Tim, I'm uh, running my first six miler of my rest week. It's obviously in the dark. So this video might be a bit like yours for this week. Anyways, it's nine o'clock at night and I got a six miler planned. It's nice when uh, neighbors leave amenities by the side of the road for us runners. Hey Tim, it's uh, 10 p.m. and I'm just finishing up my run. But my night's not over yet. I still have to go into the lab and take out an experiment I put in earlier today. So it's kind of the life of an experimental patrologist. The run felt good. I felt better on the downhill, on the way back, than I did on the way out. So, it just took me a little while to get warmed up. I have taken a few days off. So here's some deer along my run. They're just chilling, eating some grass. They're pretty tame, they let you get pretty close.
Well, Tim, the sun set on me, and it is cold. It's probably low 30s. But, anyways, I'm plugging along about almost to the four mile mark. So, just got to hurry and summit Mount Doug here. Then I'll uh, head on home. Hopefully, I can finish the mountain before it gets too dark. I don't have a light. Ah, lactic acid buildup. It's killing me. See that big white dot? It's a almost full moon. <laughs> so this is my 70th summit this year, and it's a beautiful one. <sighs> Halfway, just need to go home now. But I think I'll uh, enjoy the sunset a bit longer. Well, Tim, I got off the mountain just in time. It's about to get dark. So, what an awesome run. Between the juxtaposition of the sunset and the moonrise, it is phenomenal. It's one of those runs where you get inspired and recharged. So, anyways, great run. Talk to you tomorrow.